is fall and fall is fair. Hey, let's go mess with her breath. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, Your Majesty, the captain, he is, he has been injured, but he speaks of a brave warrior. I see. The captain said as he bled his last drop, Macbeth rose favorably. He finished his story and asked Ross to please stop. Those are my innards, so please eat them not. But Ross continued anyways. Make this man Thane of Cawdor! Shut up, the game is on! Angus and Ross raced to Duncan's letterman and got to Macbeth as fast as they can. Macbeth, said Angus, wheezing with no breath, you'll be fine, he sang to his friend Macbeth. I will? I'll be yeah. fine? Oh boy! Congratulations! Oh. It's Thane of Cawdor. Here's your belt! Now the Thane of both Glamis and Cawdor, Macbeth remembered what the witches swore. Thane of Glamis, Cawdor, King of Scotland. He wondered how fate would play him its hand. Not too long later he heard from Duncan, asking to visit his castle within. He would stay for the night to celebrate, but Macbeth knew what was next in his fate. Be the say dagger in my hands? Yes. Zoof! I'm using this thing. He waited for night, when all were asleep, and take a guard's dagger, and next he creep. Inside the chamber housing Duncan. Hi there. Hello. Have you ever heard the one about the dead king? No, I haven't. Stop, 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 stop. You know, something feels really wrong today. Never they don't know fear. what. Duff is here. Guys, 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 big news. Good news, guys. The king Duncan has died. Oh my gosh, we're in danger. Duncan had died, his sons had fled, but now stood Banquo against him. Macbeth knew how to handle it, but he couldn't prepare for what came after. Okay, so, I know you both were put, to were put into jail, so now I'm giving you a chance to get out of this, okay? You just do, this, do me a simple favor, and you won't have to see that prison ever again, okay? Simple. Kill the Banquo. Do you understand? Were you even listening? I don't have much faith in these guys. Hello, men. Who are you? I, I am the third murderer. Big boss over there. <laughs> uh, give me the sword. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Macbeth knew that Pleonce was trouble, so he asked the witches if they had anything more to tell him. But before that, Mommy, look, it's a murderer! <laughs> he ordered for the killings of any of Macduff's family in Scotland. All right, some spooky stuff has been happening recently, and I want to know what you're doing dancing here, what more do you have to tell me, and what more is there? Look into the cauldron! Cauldron! And the visions that come from it! You know the guy whose family you killed? Shouldn't have done that. Wah! Nobody born of a woman shall kill Macbeth. Wah! You're not gonna die until the woods move up to your hill. All right, Macbeth is destroying Scotland. You must become king. I don't wanna. You know, 
what? If you're gonna be all whiny, I'm, I'm not even gonna try. Wait! Wait! I, I was I was just kidding. This is all a prank. See, see the camera's right there. I'll be king. We are going to go and save Scotland. Macbeth did not expect it so soon, but his time had come. The Barnum Forest had moved to Dunsinane Hill, and Macbeth was facing Macduff's men all by himself. Macduff wanted to kill Macbeth himself, for he was haunted by the deaths of his family. Macduff was the last chance to kill Macbeth, for he was ripped from his mother's womb as a baby. And thus ends the tale of the King Macbeth. His reign was short-lived, but faster his death. With Scotland at peace, its ill curse lifted. The people of Scotland were well gifted. Their war with the Danes was of great success. And the country continued to impress. The dynasty that started with Fleance continued to rule Scotland for eons. And now our story must come to an end. And I hope you enjoyed this time to spend. And if not, well, there's no refund, sorry. Good thing time is not one to be charried.